Okay. I'm glad to congratulate all participants of the conference and I would like to present research on the topic uh, analysis and estimation of popular places in online tourism based on machine learning technology uh, of the author uh, Yuri Tverduhlip, Vasilian Brunek, Lilia Chirun, Lubomir Chirun, Natalia Antoniuk, Ivan Diak, Oleg Naum, Dmitro Ogren, uh, and uh, Victor Basta Fernandez. Abstract. Uh, this article discusses and compares some machine learning regression methods for developing a prognostic model that predicts uh, the daily number of visitors in different areas, tourist places. Uh, of India. Uh, visitor review from uh, HolidayIQ.com and used as data. The main features of the selected data set are described. Introduction. The article is based on a set of data consisting of specific data obtained from user reviews posted on HolidayIQ.com uh, about different types of uh, attractions in India. This data set uh, completed with feedback um, on um, appointments published by 249 uh, Holiday IQ.com reviewers by March 2020. This paper discusses and uh, compares some machine learning regression methods for developing a prognostic model that predicts uh, the daily number of visitors in different areas, tourist places of India. Implementation uh, of uh, strategies project will allow for appropriate um, restructuring of the tourism industry in relation to the socio-economic life of the state. Its focus on population, government, management and business um, structures and a comprehensive approach to ensuring the effective use of benefits and um, opportunities of domestic and tourism sector due to climatic conditions and historical futures, taking into account the requirements of um, environmental protection and uh, preservation and enrichment of uh, its um, heritage. Main part. This paper uses a set of user data feedback on different types of attractions in India. The data set contains uh, 70 43 data points collected from holidaysiq.com. The main features of the selected data set the user ID, number of uh, inspections of stadiums, sports complexes, number of reviews of religious institutions. Numbers of reviews about the Big Lake River, the, the number of reviews about theater exhibitions, the number of reviews about shopping center, shopping malls, number of reviews about pike picnic areas. And you can see on the slide figure one uh, data set. The methods uh, that will be implemented in this work in the classification tree. To implement this coursework, uh, we choose the Python programming language. Python uh, is an, an easy to use at full fledged programming language and it provides much more tools for structuring and supporting a lot of applications. The lot selection of libraries is one of uh, the main reasons that Python is the most popular programming language used for machine learning. Python libraries provide basic level elements, uh, so we do not need to include them from the beginning machine learning requires. Constant data processing and Python libraries allow you to access, process and transform data. After downloading the data, reading other data set and building graph. Next, we want to show you a chart that visualizes data according to use feedback about picnic and parks. Uh, as we see here, we have two local heights and uh, four local walks. The same can be said for the next two graphs. 
uh, these graphs determine whether to work with this data and allow you to determine whether to normalize uh, it or not. Next slide. Um, on the slide, we can see a figure 2 bar chart of reviews of parks and picnic areas. Figure 3 bar chart of feedback on stadium. Uh, and figure 4 bar chart of reviews by religious places. The following graph is uh, also a chart, but it shows how feedback after visiting the theater affects the feedback uh, of beaches, lakes, and we can see points from 0 uh, to 10 here. And uh, you can see figure 5 bar chart of reverse on blowing beaches, lakes, and rivers. Uh, next slide. Uh, the following graph is a scatter, scatter graph that blows up the distribution um, of um, um, attribute data related to the data distribution, another attribute. We need this data in our order to cluster it in the future. And uh, you can see figure 6, uh, shadow of scattering visits to theaters in relation to shopping center. And uh, figure 7, uh, shadow of scattering visits to park in relation to sh shopping center. Next slide. Mm, assigning target and uh, future variables. And uh, future selection is one of the core concepts uh, in order to affect uh, performance of the model. In the piece of code show uh, above, the, um, above, we have um, assigned the future and target uh, variables. Next slide. Splitting the data set into training set and testing set. We generally split the data we have into training and testing sets so that um, models um, learn on this data. We um, use the test data to test how uh, accurate uh, our model is. Here we have to divide our data as 70% training and 30% testing. Uh, next slide. Accuracy for the training data. And you can see the program code with the accuracy value. Next slide. Um, you can see the program code with the accuracy value and uh, accuracy of the testing data. Next, data visualization. Uh, here the entropy for each node in the decision tree is calculated and uh, shown in the below image. And you can see um, figure 8, the data visualization results. Next slide, passive mm, trend. In machine learning, the passive trend uh, is an, an algorithm for the um, controlled study of binary classifiers. A binary classifier is a function that can determine whether uh, an in input um, represented by a vector of numbers belongs to a particular class. And next, uh, logistic regression. And you can see the program code with uh, logistic uh, regression functions. Next slide, results. Decision tree, uh, 44%. Uh, passive term, uh, 10%. Um, logistic regression uh, 8% not uh, some, since the data set is uh, small we are getting low uh, accuracy 
A conclusion from the above result, we can conclude that in decision tree uh, is the best method for this uh, data set with an accuracy of uh, 44%. Next conclusions. Uh, this article discusses and compares uh, some machine learning regression methods for developing a prognostic model that predict uh, the daily number of visitors uh, in different areas, stories, and places of India. Visitor reviewers from HolidayIQ.com are used as data. The main features of the selected data set are described. Next, methods and means of implementation are described. To implement this coursework, we choose the Python programming language. After downloading the data, reading uh, our dataset and building graphs. This article demonstrates uh, six graphs, namely for bar charts and two scatter plots. Three machine learning methods uh, are used. Uh, the um, first was the uh, decision tree, with, which uh, showed to be best result of 44%. The second is the 10% um, passatron, and the feed uh, is the uh, logistic, logistic regression methods. Because the sample of my dataset is small, that is why we got such accuracy of algorithms. In general, we can see that the algorithms are not very successful in their task, but this is because the data sample is too small. And finally, uh, thank you very much.